Welcome back all, Laura here. So we're going to be heading south now of the Ancient Tech Lab, heading toward uh, Takamiko Island or whatever that is. And uh, there's lots of goodies to get along the way. So uh, every now and again that lizard will respawn back here behind the Tech Lab. So I always walk, don't run, just to see if he comes back. And he didn't. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is touch down right about here where this little piece of land is sticking out. Uh, reason being there's a Karak seed there, and some sunken treasure. Uh, not only that, oh yeah, there's seagulls out here too, by the way, for you picture takers. Good place to get your seagull picture out of the way. Um, yeah, so Karak seed, sunken treasure, and then we're going to swim out to that tall rock that's sticking up out of the water. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very good on my screen yet or not. But um, that is going to be a... Uh, the Birdman cast will be there, and there will be a gold rupee underwater. Pretty nifty. Okay, so this one's a little tricky. You're going to need all three ice blocks for this one, because it's so far out there. And try to get the three ice blocks as close as possible to each other. And it might take a few tries, so just don't give up. Just keep trying until one goes in. Ah, look at that. First shot. Every now and again I'll get lucky. Okay, and I see some Mighty Prongy out here. Always take the time to get your Mighty Prongy, folks, because uh, those make the best elixirs. You only need two Mighty Prongy, the Bladed Rhino Beetle, and then you can throw two monster parts in with that to get that time up. Wow, really? The other cool thing about uh, upgrading the bombs at the Ancient Tech Lab is they're more powerful. So one Bomb Blast will usually take care of any uh, any chew jelly trouble that comes along. Booyah! Gotta love it! Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little for you now. So here's where we're ultimately heading. I know it's kind of far, but we'll be all right. Uh, this is where we're going on the way. And it's that tall rock that's sticking out in the middle of the water there. Now, you can climb to the top of that rock spire if you want and talk to the Birdman. But you don't have to. I'll show you where the treasure chest is. Uh, either way, you're going to get your gold rupee. Obviously, flying is a lot faster than swimming, which is why I like the ice block method, but I was kind of brain farting there. Forgive me. Come on, Link. What was that, dude? Okay, so at the flatmost rock, it's pretty much the only real flat one out here. Uh, go ahead and turn your rune on, you're gonna see the treasure chest lighting up for you. Excellent. Okay, so now while we're standing here and we have the treasure chest up out of the water, and I'll go ahead and put that on the map for you, go ahead and take a picture of it. Reason being is we're gonna do some treasure hunting while we're on the way up to that island. Lots of sunken treasure on the way, folks. So all you got to do is take a picture of it, uh, go to your uh, condominium there, press Y on that button, or press Y when you have the treasure chest highlighted, and voila, your Sheikah Slate is now searching for the treasure chests. So you can see it's already beeping, uh, which is awesome, because that means we have treasure on the way out. 
I think there's four treasure chests in all on the way out. And it looks like I got some prongies to get. Awesome. Doggone it. See, when you don't scoop them up fast enough, they swim away. Even if you have stealth on them, that is very frustrating. Ow. I just blew myself up getting that fish. What did that take about two, three hearts? That sucks. Alright, so continuing on out to sea. And I, I check my uh, yellow rune periodically just to make sure I'm not missing the, tre the treasure chest. I know about where they are, but... I have been known to not be paying attention and swim right past. I'm trying to avoid that for you guys. You know, I don't think I'm wearing my full stealth. Shame on me. There we go. I'm gonna get a little closer to it. That way I can give you guys a better, more accurate stamp on the map here. Okay, so there we are relative to the rest of the land masses. Oh, before we go all the way out there, see these little lighter colored uh, spots? What we're going to do is we're going to pin two of those. We're going to pin the one in the middle, and we're going to pin the one out to the right. Now, this is optional, but I am going to swim out there and collect that treasure because it's really good stuff, folks. We're talking really good gemstones, and we are talking really good rupees. There's a gold rupee out there. I believe there's a silver rupee, maybe even a couple purple rupees. I can't really remember. I just remember there is a lot of good stuff out there. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to do that. You're welcome to come along with me for the ride. But for now, I'm just going to show you the treasure on the way out to the island we're heading to. Okay, I think there's one or two more treasure chests between here and there. Make sure you don't run out of stamina out here, by the way. If you run yourself out of stamina and you drown, you guessed it, you're going to end up all the way back where we got that Karak seed the last time we were on dry land. Actually, no, we're going to end up back on the island where we got our uh, gold rupee, where the bird man is. So yeah, just don't drown out here. Then you got to kind of start your swim all over. Really sucks. Okay, let me get a trajectory here. I need to figure out which way I'm going for that next treasure chest. That way. There you are. Uh oh. Really good gemstone there. I think that one's worth over 250 rupees each. 
Okay, so from here, just go ahead and swim to the island. There's a couple more treasure chests in the area, but we're gonna touch down on land here first. Uh, there's gonna be a new material out here as well. It's gonna be a hardy blue shell snail. And they don't always appear right away. You might have to walk around and look for a minute or two. But there'll be one eventually. And you can super speed, they won't run away from you. It's just a snail sitting on the ground. And they're usually just under the water line, so you might have to kind of look downward. Oh yeah, crabs might appear as well. But you're looking for just a little blue spot through the water. And I'm not seeing any just yet, which is unfortunate. Okay, well, I'm sure one will appear. Either way, we got a croc seed out here. And we will have a couple of treasure chests, which should be visible now. Now, if you have Lizzle trouble in the area, you might have to deal with them before you can actually pull your treasure chests up. Because they're going to be spitting water at you, and they'll break your concentration with your uh, Sheikah Slate Magnesis or whatever. Opal! I think Opal is a car company in Europe. Way to go, genius. I walked right off that. Now before we do anything else, let's go ahead and activate that travel gate. This way, if you decide to go on the trip with me further out to sea for uh, treasure hunting, all you gotta do is warp back here and we can get our third and final piece of the climbing gear. Now I'm not seeing that blue shell snail, I'm getting irritated. Because I said it was here and it's not here. And I've always gotten one here. So either I'm just not seeing it, or I just decided not to spawn for me today. Super frustrating. Well, hopefully you're having better luck in your game. Either way, it's a good hearty ingredient. It gives you three extra hearts, just like a regular hearty radish. I'm just not having any luck today. That's all right. All right, folks, if you're coming for the ride, let's get to work, shall we? Another floating treasure chest. Looks like I missed with my ice block here. Fail. Okay, so we're just heading out toward this middle of those three uh, light spots I was talking about. And uh, there's a couple treasure chests to get along the way. And they're both sunken, by the way. In fact, I think I'm pretty close to one now. Or not. Yep, there you are. Like I said, really good stuff out here, folks. Topazes are worth almost 300 rupees if memory serves. And that first marker that I placed on that center of the three lighter spots out in the water, that is a gold rupee.
And you're probably going to have some lizzle trouble out near those things as well, so I should probably give you a heads up on that. In fact, I think I'm just going to deal with him. Uh, I got a tail. I need those. Those are uh, grade A cooking ingredients, just like the eyeball of the bat. And I saw some Mighty Prongy, which of course, I've already mentioned how valuable those are. Just be careful not to run out of stamina, as I previously mentioned, otherwise you have to start your swim all over. It really sucks. change course here just a little bit. That thing is really close to that pin, that uh, lighter spot in the water. If not right in it. Can't really remember, but either way we should see it by now. Excellent. Be bye bye. Alright, so like I said, it's quite a ways out, but it's worth it, folks. Now I'm going to continue on my little sea bound treasure hunt because there are more lucrative gemstones to be had, as well as more rupees, believe it or not. So we're going to check our uh, runes periodically here just to make sure we're not missing anything. Now the Sheikah Slate's going to want you to go the other way for the next treasure chest. So just swim out toward that other pin and eventually it'll catch on and it'll uh, relocate another chest for you. So we're going to head kind of back toward land a little bit. That's where our next uh, chest is going to be. Probably out there where those lizzles are. Seems like my treasure chests are around uh, lizzle trouble. So we got three floating treasure chests at this spot. Awesome sauce. Or two. I thought there were three. Could have sworn there were three. Oh well. Two's better than one, I suppose. Yeah, okay. So be it. Another topaz, baby. Gotta love it. Okay, so now we're gonna head more toward our uh, pin. And we got the, the lizzles to deal with here now. Who knows, maybe we can swim past them and not have to deal with them. We're about to find out. They don't hurt that bad. I think they take a heart or so.
If you hide behind your ice block, sometimes they'll just kind of forget about you and go back to swimming. Uh, apparently not today. Gotta love the power of that royal bow. And unfortunately, I want my tail here, my grady cooking ingredient. So the reason I use an ice arrow first, well, for one, it makes them sit still so you can target in on them better. And for two, uh, it's doing more damage. When you have him in a frozen state, whatever weapon or arrow you hit him with, it's doing like double damage. So it's kind of like ju just smart business, I guess, to uh, get him frozen and then unfreeze him with a weapon or an arrow shot. All right, folks, we're almost done out here. I'm just trying to make sure I don't bypass anything for you while we're going through the trouble of doing this little treasure hunt. Looks like I'm real close to a treasure chest right now. My uh, fever just got real quiet. Yep. Okay, that's why I thought there were three floating treasure chests. There were two together, and then there's one on its own out here. Another topaz, baby. What is that, number three or four by now? Can't re remember how many we've had, but quite a few. I'll take it. All right, so heading back toward that pin now. I'm missing my jump for airtime on my flying here. Sorry about that. I know it's taking a little longer than normal. Work with me here, brother. Alrighty. Gotta be close. <clears throat> Alright folks, and that's gonna conclude our little seaward treasure hunt here. Let's go ahead and warp back to our shrine, and that is gonna be a major test of strength. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge, especially if you're a beginner, but uh, I'll walk you through that, and uh, I know a really easy way to take care of those types of challenges. Uh, some have shield, some don't, but either way, I'll walk you through it. All right, folks, we'll see you guys on the inside. Thanks for sticking around for all that. Hope it was fun. Best of luck and happy hunting.